Yo, what's up? We are now here at Circle K. Uh, well, yeah, it's just relevant where, but um, behind me here, I have a Tesla Model 3. And this one has the double glass. So let me show you. Um, it's, uh, it was delivered in uh, September this year. So it's about one and a half months only. And here, this is what we are looking for. Oh yeah, let me see, try to highlight it. Double glass. You know, Tesla secretly just added this feature. The owner here didn't know about it. And here you can see the regular glass, what it, what it looks like. And you can also hear the difference when I knock on it. You see, and also front windscreen has a different sound but this yeah this is uh, <laughs> supposed to give you better soundproofing and okay so the, I will do the regular stuff which is to test the the noise but just want to show you when I saw this car I was like damn <laughs> so it has uh, let me see it has some wrap it's supposed to be white it's a performance, you see the performance calipers. Uh, this is some, um, uh, it actually, oh, the tires, by the way, grip mocks, 18, uh, 19 inch, 235, 40, 19 grip mocks. Uh, chrome delete, this car was, uh, yeah, this car didn't come with chrome delete. So you, you have to chrome delete it yourself. And what else? Uh, it's a performance, so we have the performance spoiler and also custom uh, license plate. So, man, what do you guys think, huh? It looks pretty badass, right? <laughs> and also, yeah, tinted rear windows. Uh, this is, uh, in my opinion, one of the better looking style cars I've seen, or Teslas I've seen. And the biggest surprise is the owner. <laughs> Her name is Stina, and she, she chose how to style it. <laughs> so can you believe that huh? when I saw this I was like this is this is a guy this is typical guy stuff to to chrome delete the car and everything so yeah pretty cool uh, <laughs> so what was what was the delivery date of oh, careful careful don't step on the on the schmutz there <laughs> but what was the delivery date again on this car 28th of September yeah. this year you see one and a half months but it doesn't have the motorized liftgate. It doesn't have the, the, uh, the new uh, central console. Only the glass. That's it. And also it doesn't have heat pump. I also asked Christine about it. Only the glass. But I also heard that car Model 3 coming out this year, early, already early this year, started getting some better soundproofing in the wheel arches or doors or something. So yeah, we will, we will find out. Because I just happened to also have been measuring the noise in my uh, Tesla Model 3 from last year with the same Gripmax tires. So we will see now how quiet these tires are. So anyway, uh, I will just do my thing. She will not join me. I'll do this alone and then I'll come back and then return the car. So thank you so much for lending me the car. <laughs> okay, so at low speed, I don't feel any difference with this glass, naturally, because there is still some uh, road noise. And also the 19 inch uh, tires there, these grip mark tires are not the most quiet ones. So, uh, but let's get over to the, to the motorway. Okay, we're now doing 120 kilometers per hour. The tarmac over here is kind of rough. Oh, I don't have auto lane change in this car. Still hear some wind noise. Yeah, you see, but the, the problem is we have wind noise from the front, the front windscreen and the, yeah, whatever, you know. So this one, I guess it helps, but how much does it help? Okay, let me see now. I'm going to uh, overtake a truck and a car. Let's see now. So we get them on this side. Let me see if that helps anything. We feel here, okay, here comes the truck. Oh, here's going to Mm, 
not that much because when I tried the e-tron I think it was e-tron e-tron has the, the laminated glass or the, the, the acoustic glass on both windows front and the rear and that start that is starting to help this one is only here so you still have lots of noise coming leaking through other places but okay let's do the measurement anyway all right we've done the measurement and I have to say my impression is that it's not that much quiet and also there is a problem with the <laughs> with the panel gap with a with a frunk so actually the hood has to be replaced it's a warranty case and I believe that's causing extra wind noise because we're doing 120 now it's actually not even 120 100, 108 okay let's say 120 and I hear more wind noise here than I usually hear an MC hammer so maybe I should redo this test after uh, after the hood has been fixed and also it's slightly wet today so I guess I have to go home and analyze the data then okay uh, so I went home and actually it's been a couple of days and I checked the result and it turns out that the new model 3 with uh, massive uh, with double glass is quite noisy yes it's actually around two decibel yeah you see yeah actually <laughs> two decibel noisier than uh, the other car which is actually that that is mc hammer before the soundproofing even so we already have one measurement in mc hammer and then this car and it is that noisy so i blame the hood the, the hood seems to be like popped open it's the hood is misaligned that was causing the the extra sound uh, like wind noise and i actually uh, noticed it when one once i went home with mc hammer again that i didn't hear that massive wind noise so i think we have to wait until stine gets her uh, hood uh, sorted out and then we can try again but meanwhile marcus biel asked me if i can try if i want to borrow a model 3 that he will take delivery of next week or just in a couple of days now and that one supposedly has motorized liftgate double glass a new center console and heat pump Marcus Biel for the win yes but at least okay and I will also make a follow-up video uh, maybe I just gather it in the same video or whatever and I want to test Estina's car again after the hood is uh, has been aligned because um, I want to know if that was it so we have to do now we have a measure it before and I'm gonna make a follow-up because I mean we're not gonna lie here um, Tesla has some panel gaps and most of the time those panel gaps don't bother you except for if the hood might be misaligned so I want to know if it's like that or not so uh, yes I think the last thing I will do is that uh, I will actually link uh, Stina's uh, referral link here before because anytime I have an opportunity I will link other people's um, referral links but not you guys no you're not allowed to link your um, referral link only the one I mentioned so because I don't need them I have plenty of referrals and then it would be nice for Stina to get some because uh, she was so nice to lend me the car so yeah I think that's gonna be it for now hope you guys enjoyed this video as always thank you for watching and talk to you later